I've been using Sony camera gear for a few years now, and the stuff has helped me capture some amazing moments and share it with you. So it's especially nice to have Sony sponsor this video today, where I'm gonna be talking about why I think the Sony 200 to 600 G is the best lens on the market for wildlife video capture and stills. Ever since I was a little kid, the wide world of nature, well, it has seemed like pure magic. I have spent countless hours observing and capturing exciting moments with my cameras. From the birth of a sandhill crane chick, to an osprey plucking a fish from the surface of the water. I consider myself very fortunate to be able to do what I do, and I absolutely love it. Photography has taught me to see nature in a whole new light, and because of that, I can now appreciate it even more. Capturing video of fast-moving subjects like Osprey coming into the water at 50 miles per hour can be quite challenging, but I've learned if you have the right tools, not only is it easier, but it's more fun. My absolute favorite tool for capturing video, the Sony 200 to 600 millimeter lens. I prefer to handhold when I'm capturing fast moving video. A tripod is great, but every time I use it, I feel like I'm kind of anchored in place and I can't respond quick enough. And because I'm handholding almost all of the time, I need a lens that has really good image stabilization and the Sony 200 to 600 has that. It allows me to handhold and capture buttery smooth video footage all of the time. It's actually quite impressive. One of my favorite things about this lens is it has an internal zoom. You probably didn't even just notice that, but I just zoomed from 200 to 600. And so what does that mean? It means the length of the lens never changes. It's always the same because the zoom is internal. So you always know exactly how big the lens is gonna be. And it doesn't have any lens creep. Like the other lenses, if you hold them like this, gravity pulls the lens down and it actually creeps and uh, changes your focal length. With this one, that doesn't happen. It's actually a really cool feature. When I'm out videoing these animals, the birds, I'm actually capturing and documenting the balance between nature. Sony put a lot of thought and effort into the balance of this lens. It's perfectly balanced so that it's easy to handhold for a long period of time. Other lens might be front heavy, so it's actually kind of hard to shoot very smooth with it, but because this lens is actually balanced appropriately, it's easy to get really smooth footage and it's easy to handhold the lens for a long period of time. These Osprey come in the water often at 50 miles an hour. And sometimes they come out of the water just as fast. And because of that, you really need a lens and a camera that has a very fast autofocus to be able to keep up with that. The 200 to 600 has that. It can track these birds coming down really quickly. And then when they come out of the water and come out, it can also track them coming right back at the camera. That's extremely important. My absolute favorite part of this lens is the throw, and I consider it the secret weapon of this lens because no other lens on the market has anything even close. And what do I mean by that? That means I can move from 200 to 600 just by pulling like that. The camera doesn't shake, the lens doesn't shake, and that's extremely important because I wanna be able to find my target subject at about 200 millimeters, and then with no effort at all, I can pull one finger down the side and be at 600 millimeters without shaking or disrupting my video capture. It's amazing, and again, there's no other lens on the market that has that, so I consider this my secret weapon for the Sony 200 to 600. Every 
once in a while there's a piece of gear that comes along that really surprises you. The Sony 200 to 600 G lens did just that with me. When I initially purchased this lens, I got it with the sole purpose of going out and shooting stills with it, and it performs excellent for that. But then I started shooting video on the A1 and the A7S III, and the results that I was getting with that and this lens were absolutely amazing. I was learning so much about myself and I was learning even more about my subjects, a lot of these wild animals, because I could capture them in great detail and slow it down and really understand their thinking process a lot better. So this tool, this lens has become an invaluable tool for me. Um, I highly recommend it. It's just fantastic at everything that it does. And again, it's become kind of my secret weapon for capturing amazing video on these Sony cameras. If you had any questions or if you have any questions about this lens, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Share this video if you found it helpful. Uh, hit the thumbs up, all that stuff that I think we're supposed to ask for, maybe not. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that because I got a lot of good stuff coming with this. I've been out doing some amazing stuff in the afternoon to give examples of differences in light and variances in light from just one hour to the next. And that some of the stuff I've captured is absolutely amazing. I'll be sharing that soon. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you later.